and welcome to this video in this video i will show you how to delete digital ocean droplet snapshot which is your backup if you have if you don't have you don't need to delete this snapshot or you don't need to bother about snapshot if you don't have backup or simply how to delete digital ocean project permanently so first let me show you why i am deleting my site so let me show you my site you can see free itools.com free internet tools and if i go to admin dashboard you can see last 30 days team all time 483 and this php script is bought from actually code canyon let me show you and this is the script okay sumo web tools so yeah i bought this tool from code canyon you can see some more tools seem luxury inspired by actually Hassan at educate as you can see he has a lot of content <coughs> making money with tools and these videos are actually legitimate but <coughs> if you notice the site as you can see if I want to you know let's say PNG to JPEG so most li likely I will get you know the most popular websites as you can see the domain also match with the keyword so I have been managing this project you know uh, about eight months I think let me show you go to my billing section and this is the project and you can see all the billing first two months actually free from digital ocean credit then third month 4, 5, 6, 7 and October 8. So yeah and estimated cost 2.25 dollar you can see so this website is not going actually it's 8 months old and as you can see these ads from Adstera okay Adstera so yeah these ads are Adstera ads I have applied Google ads in multiple times but Got rejected then after I applied Azoic, I got approved on Azoic ads. Let me show you Azoic site. As you can see, this is Azoic ads and platform. But actually, after I got approved, and one of the member, you know blocked the Azoic ads on my website by saying let me show you mm, you can see you can see uh, actually uh, after I applied to Azoic ads drop down navigation was not working so I asked and uh, you know this lady actually said you know how to fix this and uh, here she said i have actually just had to deny the site as it goes our policies as you cannot create this tool they are scrapped and not compliant so basically she actually blocked my site from azoic and i said it's not scrapped tools not hacking or illegal tools so he, she said you don't own the tools which is the issue so, but after this comment I, did, I said it's actually from Code Canyon and after that I think I should delete this because you know these tools are already on the internet and most of the you know <coughs> sites are popular so it's very hard for me to rank and uh, you can find this similar website all these are as you can see all these are similar to this uh, free internet tools uh, actually bought from code canyon let me show you this one okay so you see it's the same site that's why they said it's against our policy let me show you this one Will be you 
sing in sight again and let me show you this one you can see these are the same tools bought from Code Canyon and hosted on multiple websites that's why they block this kind of website you know 